All right, so the first thing you need to do is get hosting and secure a domain name. Now you may have already picked a domain name at this point and that's great, I'll cover that step as well. Now hosting is the place where your website's files will be stored. The domain is of course the name of your website. So the service that I personally use for hosting is Hostinger. And I've done a lot of research on this and in my opinion for a fully functional website, Hostinger has the best overall value. So hosting costs about $1.99 per month, but I personally prefer to go with this middle plan, which is the premium shared hosting plan. And the main reason for that is because you get a free domain. But on top of that, you have unlimited free SSL, which basically makes your website look a lot more legitimate when people click onto it. And it can also handle up to 25,000 visits monthly. In my opinion, has the best price quality ratio, meaning the quality of the hosting you get versus the price that you have to pay is the best ratio and it's not even close. And the reason for this is because it has its own custom built H panel. And I'm basically gonna go through the setup process and show you how that works. They also have extremely fast servers, 99% uptime guarantee, 24 seven, 365 live support, and they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. On top of that, you also get a free email, which if you're ever going to be reaching out to people to try to establish deals or network, you pretty much need to have a website email. A lot of the time, if you don't have it, it's just gonna get put in spam. And even if it gets through to the person, a lot of the time they're just going to ignore it if it's not attached to a website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this middle option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the 12 months option. Then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go ahead and create my account. I'm gonna select my payment option and then make sure to click have a coupon code and then enter in the coupon code Shane Hummus. And as you can see, there was a savings there. Now you don't have to enter in the coupon code. I make these videos for fun and to just help you guys out. But if you wanna support the channel a little bit, you can do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the payment part. All right, at this point, you're gonna go ahead and create your password. Make sure you write that password down or have it somewhere safe. Confirm, and then go ahead and click Start Now. Click I'm creating it for myself. For now, go ahead and click I'm building it myself. Depending on what type of website you're creating, uh, most likely if you're looking this up, you're gonna be creating either a blog or a portfolio website but you also might be creating a business website. Go ahead and click that. Blog is typically really easy to set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then they do make it really easy to set it up yourself, so if you want some extra help, you can click I'm a beginner, but I'm gonna go ahead and click no thanks. Then I'm gonna select build a website, and then we're gonna use WordPress to build the website. Next, go ahead and create a password for WordPress. And then it doesn't really matter which one of these you select. I'm gonna go ahead and just select this first one. Now you wanna go ahead and claim your free domain that we talked about before. Now typically it's recommended for trademark reasons because of the fact that you'll actually own the domain name to create it with .com. But I actually own shanehummus.com already, so in this particular case, I'm gonna claim it with .net. I'm gonna to search to make sure nobody else has claimed it. The domain is available, so I'm gonna click continue and then click finish setup. Next, we're gonna complete the registration, so I'm gonna put in my country details. At this point, most of you are just creating this as a personal website, but it can also be a company or organization, but I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Can always fix that later on. Next, I'm gonna enter in my personal contact information. Now that I've entered that information in, I'm going to click Finish Registration. Next, I'm gonna click on the Hostinger Control Panel. Now, you can really control just about everything from here, and I highly recommend you check out their tutorial videos. And seriously, just about everything you need is in this control panel. If you scroll down, you can look at the page speed, you can even scan the website for malware. You can import or migrate websites. You can look up SEO if you're planning on creating content. They even have links to Fiverr if you wanna create a logo. So definitely spend some time looking at this. Also, if you're planning on using the professional email and reaching out to people, make sure to set that up. But with that being said, most people probably clicked on this video to get their website launched. So if you ever need to get back to the WordPress website interface, just go ahead and type your website name in slash login. So let's go ahead and see if the website is live or not. So we're gonna go ahead and go to shanehummus.net. And as you can see, the website is live. Now, if you need to get back to the WordPress panel, go ahead and type in your website and then slash wp-admin, and then you'll be able to log in. Now, you probably wanna change the website's appearance. And to do that, I recommend you go to appearance and click themes. Then you can scroll down and click add new theme. So there's a few themes here that are automatically added that you can switch to if you'd like. And then you can kind of just scroll through here and pick one that you like. For some reason, this one catches my eye, minimalist newspaper theme. 
So I'm gonna click install. So once you've installed it, if you wanted to activate it, all you'd have to do is just click activate. Might take a little bit in order to update that, but then you would just go to your website and you'd refresh the page. Once it's activated, you're gonna see that there's an option for you to customize the website. You can click on that. So for instance, you can go to global and it is extremely easy to customize this stuff. So for instance, you can just click, you know, with if you don't want this to be take action, you can go here, click that. On the left, you can change that to contact me. And then when you feel satisfied with it, you can click publish. You can also change the themes from here if you'd like. So the active theme right now is Astra. You can change it to anything you want, like the minimalist newspaper, for instance. It'll even let you do a live preview. And that's what it would look like with nothing else. Maybe you want to insert a picture of yourself or your logo. Just click up here, click change logo. Actually don't have a picture of myself on this computer. So I'm just going to choose a picture of a random person. Go ahead and select it. I'm going to skip cropping. And there you go. Picture of a random guy with an awesome beard. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to edit everything on here. And if you want me to make a full tutorial, I can definitely go over that. But this is just an introductory how to create a website type video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.